themselves in first place. Yep. So now both these teams are largely playing for private. AD carry mid, does it count on oh. the Corky under turret? Maybe it does under oh, turret! No. Oh no! Thaddeus, why did you talk? I can't, I'm turning it off. A... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he got solo killed again! Two yeah. days now. Oh dear. PDS. Oh, and it doesn't and stop Razor. there, does it? Razor caught out. He flashes the Brob, matches the trample, the auto attack, the kill secured. Oscar in and now up against the wall, thinking about what he can do to bring Fnatic back with some aggression in their early game. But had a Well, we get versus Zenith played again. Ice is in trouble and with no summoners. That's just such an easy kill. Great punish. And this time Fnatic hitting where it hurts. And look at the wave that's denied. Yeah, much needed win for Fnatic and Ice just runs away. Lavrov sacrifices his life. No with a second kill. Echo that point again. That's a couple of times now we've seen whoopsies from Lavrov in the early stages and yeah. it has cost BDS. Tries to stop the reset, but Fnatic are in the area and now gonna take over topside. Flash, this is disrespectful. Razork thinking he'd take this, didn't know where Shea was. That's a freebie while he's trying to take an enemy blue. And that will set up them for Ice to cover this topside play as well. I mean, the mid jungle coming up clutch for BDS. Yeah. As, uh, now asking if BDS are going to continue the fight right now might be as obvious as Oscar Inning gets flipped on out. Jun finds a new target into the Scorpion King. But Dwayne The Rock Johnson, solar flare through the wall, gets targeted out. He's stuck there for years. No impale, but a great seismic shove. A triple knockup might bring it back. But for BDS, there's no reset yet. Jun even getting a follow up engagement means that BDS have to kite back to their turret and man, Fnatic locked Adam into the wall. We need to call right games. Dance of vision. You know, you were talking about Oh, solo play. Okay, it starts off a little bit earlier, doesn't it? The suppression's there as well. I think that's the root. Adam once again stuck in place. He gets Cassante altered, but that's too far for Oscar Rinnan. Under turret ends up being a trade with the seismic shove on the left of your screen. Was the clutch play that gives a reset and sets up Shao for success. A root caller, another heartbreaker, and oh, this that's the playmaker. BDS's mid lane is going nuclear again. This time BDS also a rocket, but another shove. They're all multi-man nukes. Stop it. Check his PC. Get him off Talia because Fnatic can't handle it. Off on the side. Noah's still hitting the dragon though and onto Razork. I mean, BDS need to get on back. They may have gotten the kills, but the dragon is also important and running forward. They now know it's taken by Fnatic, but in the pit with no way out and eyes getting excited. Fnatic up against the wall and BDS looking like the second best team in the LEC. I damn think so. And Shao still chasing down Humanoid. He's got nowhere to go. He goes over the Unraveled Earth and gets taken down. And that's Deja Vu. We saw it at level three and we'll see it again. Right before our eyes as BDS, they're looking at an 8-1 finish and sure, SK hold on to first, but in a clear second, in clear momentum and in clear driving force towards summer.